Okay. Um, um, this is going to be the last video of this motor whining. I, I don't mean to jump ahead. I kind of skipped a few steps because uh, my wife was using the computer and I wanted to finish. So um, I wound the motor in three phases, just like I was saying in the previous videos. And I took the ends and I um, soldered them together and I hot glued that solder so it would be sealed and then I took the beginnings of each winding and brought those wires out and just put some insulation I stripped off some some housing wire over those wires I brought out which is the beginning of each phase and I soldered them onto a speed control um, now, this winding is actually a new winding. The one on the, the one on the previous videos, it actually burned the speed control out. It was it was drawing 24 amps, and it was quite powerful. It was like 250 watts, but the speed control was rated at 20 amps, and unfortunately, I thought maybe I could exceed that a little, but I but it didn't. It wouldn't take it, so it burned out the traces, you know, on the board and the FETs. Its traces. I tried to resolder and fix it, but it didn't work. So, anyways, but that motor was pretty awesome. It had a you know super high kilovolt rating. I had a small 6.3 prop on it, and it drew like 250 watts, or it was giving me 250 watts. Now this motor is different. I. Uh, took a gauge smaller and I took three strands just like on the previous winding but the wire diameter is smaller so I was able to get about 11 wraps on each phase so I'm only drawing about 10 amps so it's only giving me like 120 watts which is much less but it's not burning out any speed controls but uh, so this is going to be the, the last video on this process which just so you understand um, correctly this the the phases are wound all identical you know and then the wires I had tucked into the bearing they all go each each group of three goes to one of the pole one of the wires on the speed control and the, the ends get soldered together which is this this clump right here and that's it you could pick the number of times you want to wind it and it just gives you some flexibility. All right. Well, for this series, signing out. If I wind any more, I'll try to do a better, complete video process. It's just I only have one computer, and my wife was using it, and I was impatient. Okay, signing off. Bye.